Very good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 6th of July, 2022. Today, the uh, Church of Wales celebrates Thomas More, scholar, and uh, the Church of England and John Fisher, who was a Bishop of Rochester and Reformation martyrs, both of them, uh, in around 1535. And so, uh, some, a few words about Thomas More and then John Fisher. Born in London in 1478, Thomas More studied classics and law and was called to the bar at the age of 23. His clear honesty and integrity impressed King Henry VIII, and he appointed Thomas as his chancellor. Thomas supported the king in his efforts to reform the clergy, but disagreed over Henry's disputes with the papacy caused by the king's desire to annul his marriage to Catherine of Aragon and to find another queen who might provide him with a male heir. Henry could not stand such an act of defiance and imprisoned his chancellor in the hope that he would renege. Thomas refused to take the oath on the act of succession, which declared the king to be the only protector and supreme head of the Church of England, and he was executed for treason on this day in 1535, declaring that he died the king's good servant, but God's first. John Fisher was Thomas More's close friend and ally. A brilliant academic, he had substantially reformed the life of the University of Cambridge through the wealth and influence of his patron, Lady Margaret Beaufort, the mother of Henry VII. Of course, this church has a connection with her too. He was made Bishop of Rochester and proved himself to be a good pastor to his small diocese. As with Thomas More, Henry VIII much admired him at first, but when he opposed the king, their relationship deteriorated. 866 and in indifferent health, he nevertheless endured the trauma of imprisonment in the Tower of London, and he was executed just two weeks before Thomas on the 22nd of June, 1535. So we come to our evening prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory for ever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And the hymn for this evening is As Pants the Heart. As pants the heart for cooling streams, when heated in the chase, so longs my soul, O God, for thee and thy refreshing grace. For thee, my God, the living God, my thirsty soul, doth pine. Oh, when shall I behold thy face, the majesty divine? Why restless, why cast on my soul, hope still, and thou shalt sing the praise of him who is thy God, thy half eternal spring. To Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, the God whom we adore, be glory as it was, is now, and shall be, that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Part of Psalm 119 for this evening, beginning at verse 81. My soul is pining for your salvation. I have hoped in your word. 
My eyes fail with watching for your word, while I say, O oh, when will you comfort me? I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you bring judgment on those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me in defiance of your law. All your commandments are true. Help me, for they persecute me with falsehood. They had almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forgotten your commandments. Give me life according to your loving kindness, so shall I keep the testimonies of your mouth. O Lord, your word is everlasting, it stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness also remains from one generation to another. You have established the earth and it abides, so also your judgments stand firm this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I should have perished in my trouble. I will never forget your commandments, by them you have given me life. I am yours, O oh, save me, for I have sought your commandments. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will meditate on your testimonies. I have seen an end to all perfection, but your commandment knows no bounds. Lord, how I love your law, all day long is my study. Your commandments have made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I am wiser than the aged, because I keep your commandments I restrain my feet from every evil way, that I may keep your word. I have not turned aside from your judgments, for you have been my teacher. How sweet are your words on my tongue, they are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments I get understanding, therefore I hate all lying ways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from the book of Ezra, chapter 6. After these things had been done, the officials approached me and said, The people of Israel, the priests and the Levites, have not separated themselves and the peoples of the land with their abominations, from the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians and the Amorites, for they have taken some of their daughters as wives for themselves and for their sons. Thus the holy seed has mixed itself with the peoples of the land, and in this faithfulness, faithlessness, the officials and leaders have led the way. When I heard this, I tore my garment and my mantle, I pulled hair from my head and my beard, and sat appalled. Then all who trembled at the words of the God of Israel, because of the faithlessness of the returned exiles, gathered around me, while I sat appalled until the evening sacrifice. At the evening sacrifice I got up from fasting, with my garments and my mantle torn, and fell on my knees, spread out my hands to the Lord my God, and said, O oh my God, I am too ashamed and embarrassed to lift my face to you, my God, for the iniquities have risen higher than our heads, and our guilt has mounted up to the heavens. From the days of our ancestors to this day we have been deep in guilt, and for our iniquities, we, our kings and our priests, have been handed over to the kings of the land, to the sword, to captivity, to plundering, and to utter shame, as is now the case. But now, for a brief moment, favour has been shown by the Lord our God, who has left us a remnant and given us a stake in his holy place, in order that he may brighten our eyes and grant us a little sustenance in our slavery. For we are his slaves. Yet... Our God has not forsaken us in our slavery, but he has extended to us his steadfast love before the kings of Persia to give us new life, to set up the house of God, to repair its ruins, and to give us a wall in Judea and Jerusalem. And now, our God, what will we say after this? For we have forsaken your commandments, which you commanded by your servants, the prophets, saying, The land which you are entering to possess is a land unclean with the pollutions of the peoples of the land, with their abominations. They have filled it from end to end with their uncleanness. Therefore do not give your daughters to their sons, neither take their daughters for your sons, and never seek their peace or prosperity, so that you may be strong and eat the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance for your children for ever. After all this has come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great guilt, seeing that you, our God, have punished us less than our iniquities deserved and have given us such a remnant as this, shall we break your commandments again and intermarry with the peoples who practice these abominations? 
Would you not be angry with us until you destroy us without remnant or survivor? O Lord, God of Israel, you are just, but we have escaped as a remnant, as is now the case. Here we are before you in our guilt, then no one can face you because of this. It's the end of the Old Testament reading. And the Song of the Blessed. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, for you are the light of the world, and great is your reward in heaven. Reading from St Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, beginning at verse 9. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour, do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers, bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them, rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord." No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink, for by this you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our responsory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generation will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Remember your promise of mercy to Abraham and his children forever. We come now to our prayers of intercession. Pray especially for the Church throughout the world, especially in the Anglican Communion for the Diocese of Manchester in the York province of the Church of England and for its Diocesan Bishop David Walker. We pray for Bishop Gregory as he attends the Provincial Standing Committee um, in Cardiff at this time. And we also pray in the life of the Diocese for the official opening of Askol Cum Banwi in Llangadvan for its staff and for its pupils. We pray for the Abba Conwy mission area, especially for Llandoged in Llandoged, 
for its current ministries, a pilgrim church, and for plans to hand the building to the Friends of Friendless Churches. We pray for those who are in particular need of our prayers, for those who suffer because of violence and conflict, especially in Ukraine and in Eastern Europe, for those who at this time have increased concern about the COVID pandemic, who are continuing to work in healthcare, for those who work in vaccine and booster programmes, for all who are in nursing and residential homes, for all who are in prison. We pray for those who are sick, especially for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Roy, Barbara, Derek, Hannah and Chris. And we pray for the souls of the faithful departed, among them David Pipe, Bob Gray and Les Griffith. and our form of intercession. Let us pray to God the Father who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let the peoples grow in justice and harmony. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for all those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good and find in themselves a spirit of integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer for the faithful departed, that they may be granted everlasting peace and refreshment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer, and let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me again this evening.